Hey sweet friends, welcome back to the Bumblebee Farmhouse, a place where I hope you can find a little inspiration to make your house a home sweet home. Today's video is an awesome collaboration called the Star Spangled Hop. It's hosted by my super sweet friend here on YouTube, Rebecca from Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. The Star Spangled Hop is like an open house where you'll be visiting everybody's channel. So I'm going to go ahead and link in my description box my friend's Charlie's video from her channel, Charlie's Country Cottage. So make sure you go on to visit Charlie's channel after this. And don't forget to check out everybody's video here at the Star Spangled Hop. So in today's video, I have a patriotic and summer decor haul. And then also I will be decorating my home for the summer and for the upcoming 4th of July. So I hope you guys can stick around and hang out. I'd love to have you here at my channel today and I hope that you're all doing well. All right, friends. So the first part of this haul is these Johanna Parker creamer and sugar set. These are so cute and so patriotic for the 4th of July season and the summer season. It's got that red, white, and blue and I'm absolutely loving them. They're so cute. So a little bit of summer decor or just all year round decor is this happiness is homemade little sign. I picked this up at Dollar General. Um, this is so adorable and you can hang this if you want. Um, so cute. Now, if you guys don't know, I do love my Ray Dunn. So I have this beautiful red birdhouse that says USA. Um, really, really cute. I wanted some obviously pops of red and blue and I didn't have anything that was patriotic from Ray Dunn. So I picked up the red birdhouse and then I also went and picked up the blue birdhouse, which I love this shade of blue. And this one says America. So I um, can't wait to decorate with these. They're so pretty and um they i think they'll just add the right touches now i got this adorable banner from hobby lobby there's three pieces in this banner that are all connected and they're like the bunting flag banners uh i did pick up two packs but i ended up returning the one because it turned out that i only needed one pack but i love 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 the look of these and i can't wait to decorate with this on my fireplace I also got this adorable little piggy bowl from Hobby Lobby. I do have the larger bowl um, of the pig bowl. I got it at Kirkland's originally, but I saw the smaller one at Kirkland's and it was on sale and it's so cute. So I actually wanted to get this for my little Nespresso capsules for my coffee. Um, so really, really cute. And now I'm just going through some of the summer decor that I had already purchased in the years past. So you definitely can't decorate without the good old American flag. So we're going to have some American flags. Again, I have the bunting banner, which I just purchased. Um, lots of little red, white, and blue touches um, that I can't wait to decorate with. And a lot of the other items that I had have been purchased from years past from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's. Um, there might be some things that I had gotten at yard sales or... Um, online or just anywhere really i just been kind of slowly collecting some pieces and just for a little pop of farmhouse summer decor i do have this little tin that i had already purchased previously i think at michael's and I do have some vintage uh, inspired strawberry fabric, which I think is so pretty. And so I am going to put these radon um, egg dishes on here and I'm gonna put in some faux eggs just to add just a little extra summer in the home. Uh, they're so pretty. So I thought I would do this. I would add the real eggs that my husband gets uh, at farms in Illinois and then sometimes he's in work in Iowa, but I want to keep this out for decoration, so we're just going to go with some old-fashioned looking faux eggs. So now that we're getting everything ready, let's go ahead and decorate the house for the summer and for this beautiful patriotic season and holiday that we are about to have.
Does anyone here collect Joanna Parker pottery? I absolutely love it. So what does everybody have planned for their 4th of July holiday uh, this year? I'm not sure that we're doing anything this year. Uh, no plans have been spoken of yet, but if we don't, then I wouldn't mind just going to go and see the parade in town and maybe the fireworks and just getting some ice cream and just enjoying the outdoors. My husband is taking off work that day. He usually has to work on the 4th of July, so it'll be nice to have him home for a three-day weekend. definitely keep a lookout for next week's video. I will be doing a cozy cottage farmhouse home tour so I just love that I'm getting everything ready for that and I can't wait to share that with you guys next week. And you really don't have to spend a lot of money to decorate for this patriotic holiday, the 4th of July. You can really add little American flags all over your house, little uh, banners or ribbons. Um, it doesn't have to be anything too intricate and it'll just give your house the right touch. So let me share this amazing poem that I found online called The Land That I Love. America, the land I love, America the free, its beauty and its majesty just seem to capture me. I love everything about it, all of its 50 states. America, my home and pride is all so great. Our flag of red, white, and blue flows ever so gracefully. It represents our freedom that stretches from sea to shining sea. America is a blend of cultures that's why